Hey, Sneaker Lewis, back in the house, back in the house, in the house, I'm back. Today, this is a really short one, this is for Linux Lite 4.6 Release Candidate 1, okay? So, before we start, this is in the box. When it is released, I'll put it on Real Metal, and we'll go from there. But there might be another couple of release candidates, so we don't know, so just have a look at it, just in case. And as you can see down here, it is for testing purposes only, okay? Now, the themes have been changed, there's lots of things changed. And overall, it looks quite nice, actually. Remember, I did used to use it as my daily driver for quite a while, okay? When Zubuntu was not playing ball. So, we're just going to go quickly go through it with you. On the desktop, you have user files, this PC, recycle bin, yeah, or bin, okay? Network and your control panel, and the usual Linux light stuff, okay? You click on the menu, it's the same here, <clears throat> all here as it would be. But can you see that the theme's changed? It looks a lot better in my personal opinion. So let's go and see what they have changed. What I did do for you, I uh, made sure <clears throat> that I went to the Release Candidate page. Here we go. And to see, show you what has actually changed. So if I go to my bookie marks, and here we go. Uh, I will have orange juice while I'm waiting, and it is orange juice, trust me. Okay, so it's available for testing. You get a new theme selector, and it's really quite nice, if I remember where I can find it. You get a light or a dark theme from the outset and the beginning. A new keyboard and number lock section added to the light. Welcome to, so we'll check that out in a second. Uh, uh, volume toggle tutorials, mm -hmm. and we're going to also try USB persistence tutorial. Be interesting. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And updated the light sources with comments about Linux light repos only. Okay, so lots of things there have changed. We'll scroll down a bit more. <clears throat> the XFC4 CPU frequency plugin has been added as an option to the tray. Very nice. I'll check that out maybe in a minute. I may not. Let me see. So the kernel we're using here is 4.15055. There is custom kernels in the repo. Okay. Firefox is 68.01. Chunderbird is 60.8.0. Lately Sleep Rough is 6.00. Oh, sorry, 6.07. Uh, VLC. Oh, and GIMP 2.10. Nice, nice, isn't it? Okay, super duper. Download it now. Give it a try, okay? So we'll quickly go through it with you anyway. We're going to go straight to graphics and GIMPage. And we'll see how GIMPage plays ball on here. Ooh, very nice. Nice and quick as well. That's nice. Yeah, okay. It works. It does what it says on the tin. And that's the thing about Linux Lite. It does what it's supposed to do, which is why I used it for quite a while, you know? Uh, one of the main things we're going to show you here is the control panel, so we'll open them up. <clears throat> now here you can do everything. So if we go to Appearance, you can change all your styles here, okay? You can change your icons. Oh, that's the other thing. The Papyrus icons, they've changed as well. I forgot about that. I forgot to tell you about that. Plenty of fonts. You can change whatever you want to. So if you want to change from Noto Sans, go to whatever one you want to. So they've got the Ubuntu font. Now can we see? Should we just change it? So it's Noto Sans to start with. We'll go to the Ubuntu fonties and have it in... Yeah, that's okay, okay. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, we'll change that again. Yeah. That's all right for typing, okay. That's all right for typing, but I don't really like it. What about if we go to... Okay. Cool, you knew that'll do. That, that look, that's even worse. My God, we've gone back to the 80s. Lucid Sands. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's nice. That will do me. Thank you. Come again. So we go back oh, under these settings here. Show images on buttons. Yep, that's good. Enable events. Sounds good. So you can change all your stuff there in appearance. Desktop should be the same. Oh, change wallpapers. Oh, some nice new ones there. That's okay. So go back. File managers here. Your notifications. Your panel you can change. Preferred applications. Windows Tweaks Manager. The terminal. Check your display out. Keyboard. Buddy, 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 bar. Uh, light tweaks. So if we click on light tweaks. If you've never used a Linux like before, there's a nice little one they do here. So you can auto remove packages, boot up the, your fix and stuff up. Well, fix your boot up, should I say? The kernel installer is all here for you as well. Preload apps, etc., etc. I'll quit that for you and we'll come out. You can upgrade direct from here. So you, if you're using a four series, you don't actually have to do a reinstall. Although I, I personally would. Okay. Go to light software. I have to put my special password in, you know, the special secret one. 
Would I like to update? Of course I would. So I'll update our packages. And you'll see the other little thing that I do like. And it's like four. And I'm glad it's still here. When it's going along. For general software that most people would use. It will be in this description here. So if you hang on a second. Here we go. So most of the stuff here. Ordinary people would do. Okay. Would have in there. So Audacity. Yes. Cherry tea. Yeah. We'd all have that. Handbrake. Of course we would. Uh... Skype, not for me personally, but Spotify and Steam, yeah. TeamView, maybe. VirtualBox, all here. Wine, webcam software, etc. Also, the restricted extras is here. So I've clicked on the uh, restricted extras and click on install. Do I want to install it? Of course I do. Because we may need them codecs for stuff, if you know what I mean, yeah. Just because we do. And it shouldn't take too long to install, like it's not here. It's just whizzing through it without a problem. Hmm. So now I have my favourite codex all installed. So we'll close that for you. I'll just quickly go through the menu again. <clears throat> and we're going to go to... We'll go to Office one more time. We'll go to our spreadsheet section. And it's LibreOffice, as you know. I can't really show any more. I've been using it for quite a little while, OK? Not had a problem. So I can see this being a full release quite soon, to be honest with you. Well, actually, very, very soon. It just works. It does what it says. You want to go and check it out for Go and check it out. Might as well. Sneaky links out. I said, bye bye.